Hello guys, with this video, we are going to begin with our video series on mechanics. And the first topic uh, within mechanics that we are going to cover is that of kinematics. Now, what is uh, kinematics? Kinematics is the study of uh, moving bodies without actually caring about what the cause of motion is for example if we have a ball okay which is thrown at some angle right with a velocity v then it follows a parabolic path but we don't really care whether it is a person who has thrown this ball or whether it is uh, let's say a type of a machine, a tennis ball shooting machine, which has thrown the ball. So we don't really care what the cause of the motion is. We just know that the body is moving, right? And we try to make all calculations based upon what we know about the moving body. So let me write down the definition of kinematics. Study of moving bodies without caring about the cause of motion now the first topic within kinematics that we are going to cover is that of the position and displacement vector Now, let's say we have a point in space, right? Then we can only speak of the position of this point with respect to something else, right? Let's say the position of this point with respect to some person standing over here or some vehicle which is moving with some velocity v. We can only speak of relative positions. And associated with every object in this universe, associated with every particle in this universe is, we can say, a coordinate system. For example, as with this, associated with this person is a coordinate system, associated with the vehicle is also a coordinate system, right? And what coordinate system we associate with these bodies depend upon our convenience so we can choose a coordinate system according to our convenience and for now hence we will be working only with cartesian coordinate systems right so this is a cartesian coordinate system right let me draw a bigger one This is the Z axis, this is the Y axis, and this is the X axis. All three of them perpendicular to each other. And its origin is O, right? So now we can speak of the position of this point with respect to this coordinate system by drawing a vector from the origin of this coordinate system to that point. like this right and we call this vector the position vector r right so what is r r is our position vector right 
right now if we drop a perpendicular from this point right we are dropping a perpendicular from this point onto the y axis and similarly we can drop a perpendicular to the z axis and we can also drop a perpendicular to the x axis but it is difficult to show here because this screen is two dimensional so we can call this distance from the origin to the base of this perpendicular uh, y1 we can call this distance as z1 right and we can also draw a perpendicular to x and call it x1 and hence what r will be is uh, x1 x cap plus y1 y cap plus z1 z cap where x cap y cap and z cap are unit vectors along the x y and z directions now what are unit vectors unit vectors are just uh, normal vectors whose magnitude is equal to u1 that is they have unit magnitude and uh, uh, any arbitrary direction right so here the x cap is pointing towards the x direction y cap is pointing towards the y direction and z cap is pointing towards the z direction you can see the unit vectors as having only direction and unit magnitude right now one thing which i want you to notice is let's say instead of one we have two coordinate systems let's say this is one of the coordinate systems and we have another coordinate system so this is another coordinate system let this be the normal cartesian coordinate system z x and y and this is another coordinate system call it z prime uh, x prime and y prime then uh, uh, these coordinate systems could be two people like there is a person associated with this coordinate system and this coordinate system is just another person right and we have a point in space p right then the position of this point can be specified with respect to this coordinate system let's call this the unprimed coordinate system so the position vector for the unprimed coordinate system let's call it r and the position vector of this point with respect to the primed coordinate system let's call it r prime okay then as you can easily see from the diagram that r is simply not equal to r prime hence the position vector changes with our choice of coordinate system and hence the position vector is what we call a pseudo vector and opposite to the pseudo vector are true vectors true vectors do not change with our choice of coordinate system and one example of the of a true vector we would soon see in this video so what are true vectors vectors which don't change with a choice of coordinate systems right but since position vector is different for different coordinate systems hence position vector is obviously not a true vector now let me again quickly draw our uh, coordinate system okay and we had a point p right let's call it p1 now 
And what I do, I will do is I will pick up this point P1 and I will place it somewhere else in space. Let's say we place it over here and call this point P2. Then we will have now two position vectors. First to P1, let's call it R1 and another position vector to P2. Let's call it R2, right? Then we can draw another vector from uh, P1 to P2 and call this vector S. Now here S is nothing but our displacement vector. And it is called displacement vector simply because we have displaced the point from one place to another, right? Now, if you have learned vector addition, then you can easily see that this is forming a triangle. And by triangle law of vector addition, uh, we can say that R1 plus S over here is equal to R2. Right? And hence, S is equal to R2 minus um, right now, as I can write R2 as x2 x cap. Now, unit vectors are not going to change with different vectors, so R2 won't have different unit vectors uh, than R1 simply because. The unit vectors are not associated with individual vectors, but with the coordinate system. Since here we are working with a single coordinate system, which is our Cartesian coordinate systems, the unit vectors are not going to change. They are going to remain x cap, y cap, and z cap. So x2, x cap plus y2, y cap plus z2, z cap minus x1, x cap plus y1 y cap plus z1 z cap so this is equal to x2 minus x1 x cap plus y2 minus y1 y cap plus z2 minus z1 z cap right Now, one thing I want you to notice about position vectors is, uh, let's say we have a point P1 here again, we have a point P2, and we draw the displacement vector between P1 and P2. Then this displacement vector can be drawn simply without any coordinate system present. Right? I've not drawn any coordinate system over here, but still the vector exists. And in fact, it is uh, independent of any coordinate system. Let's say we have a coordinate system that looks like this, or a coordinate system present over here, right? Uh, then we can easily see that S just exists independent of where or what kind of coordinate system we choose to draw. And uh, hence, yes, you guessed it right, the displacement vector is a true vector. Unlike the position vector, right? Now, uh, let's move forward into the proof of this. Although you can easily see that the displacement vector is independent of coordinate system, it is always better to have a mathematical proof, right? So let's say the position vector of this point with respect to this coordinate system is R1, and this point is R2, and the position vector this is R1 prime, and the position vector of P2 with respect to this is R2 prime, right? 
then as we have just seen that uh, and let's consider another vector from the origin of this coordinate system let's call it uh, the uh, unprimed coordinate system z y and x and let's call this one as the prime co coordinate system z prime y prime and x prime then we can draw another vector from the origin of the unprimed coordinate system to the origin of the primed coordinate system like this and we can call this vector capital r right then uh, by using the law of a uh, triangle law of vector addition again we can easily see that capital r plus uh, r1 prime is equal to r1 and capital r plus r2 prime see capital r plus r2 prime is equal to r2 right so capital r plus r2 prime is equal to r2 and what is the displacement vector? We have just seen that the displacement vector is equal to R2 minus R1. So the displacement vector is equal to R2 minus R1. Now if we substitute this uh, into uh, R2 and R1 over here, we would get the displacement vector equal to capital R plus R2 prime minus capital R plus r1 prime and hence we can easily see that r2 minus r1 is equal to r2 prime minus r1 prime and hence the length and direction of the displacement vector remains the same irrespective of our choice of coordinate system and hence the displacement vector is a true vector Right now, another thing which I want you to notice is that what about the unit vector along displacement vector? Now, every vector is associated with a unit vector. Let's let us call the unit vector along the displacement vector as S cap. Then S cap would be given by S divided by the magnitude of S, as you might be known. Now, unlike the normal mathematical vectors there is something special about the displacement vector. that is the displacement vector and in fact the magnitude of the displacement vector has associated with it a unit a unit of length and what are the units of length the units of length are meters centimeters millimeters etc so all of these are just units of length which are associated with the magnitude of the displacement vector but the unit vector is just direction and no magnitude and here from here also you can see that displacement vector has units of length and its magnitude also has units of length and hence both the units will cancel of in the numerator and the denominator giving us a unitless or dimensionless Quantity. And hence uh, the unit vectors are always dimensional. This is not only true for displacement vector, but also other vectors which have units. They are uh, unit vectors will always be dimensions. So that's it, guys. In this video, I wanted to speak about a position and displacement uh, vectors we'll see you in the next video